I am back in my room in Belgium. Um, so I ended up not really filming a lot of clips of me talking at all in Costa Rica because it was a gorgeous occasion but it was really more about the nature than about the culture um, like the main event of Costa Rica at least for me was just doing a lot of hikes um, going on a lot of hikes and like I could talk about that but for things like nature it's very difficult to describe and I took videos of the nature on the walk so I think it's better if I just show you the clips and don't really talk too much so there are a few clips of me talking in this video but not that much um, so it's the small things in life you need to be grateful for um, I'm going to shut up now but I just want to kind of clarify that because there's just not that much to talk about it was beautiful but words can't really explain it and I don't really see the point in trying when I have visuals available so um, I don't know what music I'm going to put over the clips um, probably something copyrighted I listened to a couple of songs on repeat during the trip and I'll probably one of those so it might not match the visuals very well but it's probably what I listened to during the trip because um, this vlog is mostly for me to try and remember the trip um, later when I'm when my memory fails me once again um, not when I get like actual dementia not that far in the future I just have like a very bad memory so I'm hoping that the song choice will trigger more memories based on the visuals um, that's it I said I was going to stop talking but I didn't um, we were all disappointed including me I will keep my promise now okay so turns out that I can't edit it um, with the free app that I have um, to play music over one part of the video and not over the other so basically I can't play parts over the video clip I can't play music over the video clip without playing music over the few talking bits that I have. Um, so enjoy the sounds of hell. <laughs> this is going to be completely unwatchable to anybody but me, but it is for me. So. Hi, um, I am in the hotel right now. The first one was going to be moving from hotel to hotel quite a lot. Um, the flight was okay. Um, I got pretty anxious um, for a bit, but it went away and now I'm fine. I've just eaten breakfast and I'm filming this now because my um, dad and my sister are still downstairs so they don't have to see me filming this. Um, so yeah. My first impression of um, Costa Rica is San Jose, the um, capital city. I'm actually quite surprised by how similar it is to Brussels, uh, which is the capital city of my country, Belgium. Like, if you replace the Spanish text with either Dutch or most likely French, it, you know, you could fool me into thinking that this is just Brussels, which it's nice, like it, 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 um, it's its own city of course, but yeah, I'm surprised by that. We ate at Spoons, which is like, I don't know if that's like a shame here, but anyway, the food so far has been really good, except of course um, on the airplane, because my dad forgot to order me a vegetarian meal, so I just ate weird vegetable with mayonnaise for the entire meal, which, you know, not my fave. Uh, today is kind of a day off because we're all pretty jet lagged, so we're just going to wander around the city, go to some museum, maybe a museum. So yeah. Ya vagamente podemos ver. Sí. 
Ja, die zit aan de bovenkant van de stand daar. Papa! Doe eens Hello, I am in Tortuguero right now. Um, I need to adjust my commentary opinion I know about San Jose. Um, the center, like the center center of San Jose is indeed um, pretty similar to Brussels. But the rest of it isn't really. It's definitely its own city. Uh, I really liked it. I didn't spend a lot of time there. I was just there for one day to kind of recover from the jet lag, which is definitely there. I wake up still um, at 3 a.m., which I guess that's better than having to leave super early and not being, um, not having slept at all. But it's still not very enjoyable. So. Um, the jet is okay now though and we have um, taken the boat, we is my dad, my sister and I, um, <laughs> have, we have taken the boat to Dr. Gredo and right now we're staying at a pretty fancy hotel um, and we've already visited the village here which there wasn't that much to do there but it was a nice atmosphere, the beach is amazing and also there were dogs you could buy a medium-sized packets of dog food for one dollar I think it was um, and you could put in a little bowl, bowl and the dogs would come get it it was kind of cute uh, I mean they didn't look great the dogs I don't think there is a veterinarian on the island but they're cute um, yeah So yesterday I went kayaking for the first time in my life and it was surprisingly nice. Um, the first 10 minutes were a bit of a struggle because surprisingly I was not instantly good at something that I had never done before, who could have guessed. Um, but yeah, after 10-20 minutes I got the hang of it and it was pretty smooth sailing um, after that. The river was also quite wide, so um, it was okay that I didn't know how to steer super precisely. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any videos or photos of it, because one, I was busy with the um, oar, is that the, um, the, the paddle thing that moves the water so you move, mm. uh, that, and also it was just very wet in the boat, they were very um, shallow and there was a veritable lake at my feet but um, it was really nice especially there was I said the river was wide and that's true for the most part but there was also a very narrow section that was really just jungle like it was gorgeous um, there were very um, there were a lot of low hanging plants and you really um, I mean I got stuck several times but everybody did even the more experienced ones because it was uh, very shallow too, you couldn't really move your oars always uh, very well. That wasn't a good sentence, I got distracted. Um, but yeah, it, it was really fun. Um, it's too bad that Belgium nor England really has rivers like that, so otherwise I might do it again sometime. Might do it again sometime when I'm on a trip, I don't know. Then in the evening, we also went to watch turtles on the beach because it's their uh, egg laying season. It was nice, it was very beautiful, but I just, I was very tired. So I, I have to admit I didn't enjoy it a lot. Um, but it was very beautiful. The beach at night was gorgeous. There were stars, um, the guys used a little red light. We weren't allowed to book bring flashlight. I mean we were allowed to bring them but we couldn't use them on the beach uh, and they had this little red light that to be honest it hurt my ears. Um, <laughs> Hi Scott, I'm tired, I'm tired. I was tired then, I'm tired now. Um, but yeah it was very pretty. We focused on one 
I think the name they told us was green turtle, a uh, very large turtle, especially, uh, apparently not the largest. The largest is the leatherback, I think, but it's not their season now, so um, we got to see the green turtle. Um, you, uh, way larger than I'd expected based on the small turtles who had already seen the river. Uh, it was weird to be honest, like see, they spit out their eggs through their mouth and like before that their I don't know, something inside their mouth kind of comes out and then that opens up and the eggs just flops out several eggs at a time um, sometimes, like it just bloop, 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 and there's three eggs coming out of their throat. It's um, It looks very painful, I don't know if it is, I didn't have the energy to ask, but yeah, painful but beautiful. Um, and then she just kind of slapped some mud on herself and camouflaged herself and then she went back to the sea. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty special sight really. I'm glad I got to see it even if I wasn't in the best mind space to enjoy it. And today I think it's going to be mostly a transport day. Uh, we're going to a city that I forgot the name of. Not really sure what we're going to do there. Um, these are the trails that the turtles left last night. Someone made its nest pretty close to the bees already. Just, um, yeah. Oh, I, I have been corrected. Um, they do not uh, lay the eggs through their mouth. I was apparently just straight up hallucinating or some shit. I don't know. Um, but they do it normally um, to the all. So I guess the bit that came out of the mouth was like an intestine or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I was so tired. I was so tired. Just wanted to correct that so as to not pass misinformation. It still looked weird. It still looked cool. I don't know. Th that I think the head bit that I talked, uh, that wasn't a head bit was probably just the tail. Um, so yeah, apparently they like head away from the bee's tail towards the sea. Um, and then they camouflage themselves and then they turn around and then head forward and they crawl into the sea. So that was what it was. You can see its face even. Hoati or Yeah, and that's a male. I can tell not only because of its car characteristic that it <laughs> Heerlijk mogelijk, ja. De wind, because uh, um, the third part, who was on the basically the cloud force did that naturally. some sunlight, okay? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Die doe op tegen mijn kaan. Dat heeft ook gewend aan mensen. Het kan ook wel weer wel een te diep bij gaan. Maar kijk, maar als we eerder verdienen vinden. Oh. 
<laughs> Hotel only has Wi-Fi at the reception, which is not great for my like overall mood, but it is great for like writing productivity and stuff like that. I've been getting some decent work done on a short story.